plenty people in the salon they ask waiting the presidential candidate for the national grand coalition don't do na salon Alhaji Dr. Kande Kole Yunkela, where people they call KKY, don't do plenty thing them for EPS alone. And Boku government people then are SLPP and APC government, they don't praise them and tell and thank you. President Koromasef been don't tell Dr. Kande Kole Yunkela, where all man they call KKY, thank you for the work we don't do. Na Sierra Leone, we gladly for the work we needed to do in this country and not help we in so many things. But we gladly that you need to in leadership that we own brother, the provider, and the person of the community. Ah, 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 ah. For me, all my know the Boku team that we kick away don't do na salon. We talk to some kind of people then we don't benefit from the work we don't do. We first talk to the one then we don't benefit from waiting and call growth center them with Dr. Yunkela through in first them office we been be director general now the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, where then they call UNIDO, been bring Kana Salon. the <laughs> make them farm them and all our important things there for this growth center. For the root, pushing, terrorism, carpentry, we do too, so many work at this place here. Yeah. Every growth center today, we see in the urban community, not only the community, even beyond, the Payoke and I know make effort for make sure that all the development that don't come for every community. The 11 growth center them, not just they help young people for land work, but they also get satellite for entertain people them. Dr. Yunkela and a man we don't the fed for make woman and then a salon life better. So March 2013, he bring the first and first lady in Britain, Mrs. Cherry Blair, with past 20 Agbagba then, we come out Boku sign at the wall for celebrate International Women's Day with woman and then a salon. Permission, Mr. President, I'll ask my colleagues, all of those who came with us, to stand wherever you happen to be in the room. It's, it's a big group. So, yes, please stand. Uh, uh, almost 20 of, 20 of us who came. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. Thank you very much. Please have a seat. Sometimes in Sierra Leone, we take things for granted. We think things just happen. Sometimes we don't want to make the sacrifice of progress. Things don't just happen. You plan, you work, you become dedicated, you pursue it. For, for these individuals to be here, for their bosses, to allow them to come, it took some work over a year. But it also took support. When I mentioned this to His Excellency, the President in December, and the First Lady, they said we are all ready. And the celebration, nine the UNAIDS, the Edman, Michel Sidibe, when a Dr. Yunkela and Paddy, he salon 50 million dollars. I'm very honored that Michel Sidibe, you don't realize the pain he took to be here 17 hours. He was with all the health heads in Botswana 17 hours just to be here, and of course, he has to leave at 4 30 to catch a flight and leave again. <laughs> But, but I had heard of what Sherry Blaine was doing for women. And so yes, when we were sitting on the set of Rendezvous with Zaina Badawi, after we finished, I said, Mrs. Blaine, can you do me a favor? She said, what? Join me in Fraser. She said, well, I'll take you. One year later, Mrs. Blaine, thank you very much. But it 
Then make President Koboma make the country begin for observe International Women's Day as public holiday in a salon. Inside Kailahum and Afritong, Dr. Yumkela been help women them for set up plenty small business them. He been help the salon government for set up the Barefoot College in a counter line, who say women then they learn how for make solar light. <laughs> Dr. Yumkela has been with agriculture in Jala University. Usai In has been student union president and he been helped for make the established development curriculum in that university day. He been helped plenty of salon people for go study in other country and learn skill them where go help salon go before. Where he been build back the fisheries and marine institute where he work with the ministry for fisheries. He been make 10 young salon engineers then go study in a one and the best marine university then at the world with inside Russia. Then we send the engineer them for make them go and come back for begin train people then at the marine college. The one way up for build a salon. I'm very pleased to have you this institution is about an important message. It is about value addition. I have been to factories, fishing factories in Senegal, in Ghana, and in Cote d'Ivoire. Particularly the one in Ghana, I was impressed in Tema to see them carrying tuna to ship off to Europe and to the United States. Those are tuna products I used to buy in the supermarket. And it's always bothered me how come we cannot do it. I have been to private sector small scale fishing companies in Vietnam and in other places. If you can't add value here, you can't process, you can't package and ship, you lose. So for me, this institution is to begin to put that basis back. That we can add value to these resources. And guess what? In most of those companies I visit, the packages are women. So women do the sorting. They do the packaging, so you can imagine those of you who care about gender empowerment. But for the people of this country to create jobs, but also for our own fishing needs, and also to ensure that illegal poaching is not destroying our ecosystem. One other project with Dr. Imkela bring can a salon, now the Standards Bureau and Quality Control Policy. This now for tap the way and manner how salon people don't they use thin them and eat thin them with them well. But it's one thing to have a standards policy. It's another thing to have institutions that can regulate and enforce standards. So it's taken us a long time collaboration with government the standards bureau has moved from one building to the other but today yes we've been able to have a physical facility with state-of-the-art technology to really measure and test whether in fact products have st standards i will not the head of the program has given you the technical details 
Minister of Health has given you the importance for the health sector, EU delegation has given you the importance for trade. But to put it in raw form, you want to make sure, say, when you buy that tablet, that aspirin, not to chop. You want to make sure, say, when you buy toothpaste, that toothpaste, not to poison. You want to make sure, say, when you buy cough mixture for you, picking, not to poison you, the feeder. And these are real. That's my chief. <laughs> also my uncle. Yes. 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 What I said to my people this afternoon, as you heard, see, I'm just demonstrating here what I'm preaching globally. I think it'll be hypocritical of me to do all of these around the world. And people say, wait a minute, what happened to your village in this process? Inside a small village, where they call Kichong, Nakambia, Dr. Inkela bring one project, where they call Light in Rural Sierra Leone. This project will bring solar light where they give basic electricity for the community. This don't help tap the complaint where people been they complain, but how the kerosene lamp where they been they use been they are bog and yai. And this been help them picking them for do well in school. And it don't make people then they open them business then tell it na net. Dr. Yumkela self don't make them put one 32 kilowatt generator we then call biomass gasifier na kitchen. This don't give light to over 250 hosts na the small village. And some of the little things that we have been too much to be so happy and with that. And no is at all. And it's that for now. Dr. Imkela not tap day, he been built school and they support the mosque and church in the village. But for all this boku work where Dr. Yum Keladon do for Salon, July 2015, he decided for left the good, good work we've been getting at the United Nations and come back na Salon for can help the country for go before. Uh, as I was announced, I decided that July 31 this year I'll step down. You've taught me a lot, almost 30 years in the global system, teaching agribusiness in the United States going back into the UN and with you guys now creating an energy movement and an energy revolution. So I decided I'm going home to Sierra Leone. Six million people with probably the sixth largest deposit of iron ore, one of the purest deposits of titanium, diamonds gold, but they're the poorest, among the poorest five countries and Ebola de decimated them. Why would a guy like this having a good career decide that he's going to pick up a challenge like that? Well, if I don't do it, maybe the wrong people will. We want to make the wrong people continue for run with country? Come there, you can lie. Come and say this with Salomo. Now you know we want it.